Hey there, business math students. We're talking about mortgages, we're talking about a big, important thing in our lives, where we're going to live, and actually using that money to build ownership and not just paying rent. It's a really big deal. I have a mortgage. A lot of Americans have mortgages. People around the world have mortgages. One of the big questions is how to calculate a mortgage payment. There's a really nice example here in the book. I want to skim through it and then go through problem number two as well. The key is you have to have a calculator that can do higher powers. And I want, to, I want you to make sure you know how to do that in your calculator. So again, the first step, read the problem. It says here, Carol and Adam have applied for a $280,000 mortgage at 9%. It's for 30 years, and they're going to make equal monthly payments that include the interest. Find the payment, the amount paid and the total interest. The first step is to figure out the rate. So basically, since you're making monthly payments, you have to take your annual rate and divide it by 12. And you get some really small number here, but again, it adds up over 30 years. The other big thing is, how many payments are you gonna make? Well, the number of years times the number of months in a year. So 360 is a very common mortgage. In the example down here, it's a 22 year loan and we're gonna do that. Long story short, here's your monthly payment formula. You take the principal times the rate you calculated, multiplied by one plus the rate to the number of periods. All of that divided by one plus the rate you've calculated to the number of periods minus one. And you can see when you actually work this out, and they do a nice job just laying it out for you very clearly, you can see like, okay, I see a lot of similar things going on here. When you simplify everything out, right, you can see, oh, right, it's like $30,000 divided by 13, and that works out to $2,252.94. So there's the monthly payment. Of course, the month paid, uh, the amount paid is that number times 360. So you paid that 360 times. That $280,000 loan, you actually ended up paying back $811,000 over 30 years. Of course, when you subtract that 280 from that 811, you get 531. You've paid five, you've paid a half a million dollars in interest. Wow. By the way, I was in finance. This is where people make money. Okay. Now, to I'm, I'm going to try to do the same thing, but do it on my calculator here. Number two kind of pause my recording here to get my technology ready so you could see it. So in problem number two, I'm going to start just as we did in problem one. In this case, it's a $98,000 mortgage. The interest rate is much lower, 6.24% for, for 22 years. Step number one, figure out the monthly rate. So 0 0.0624 divided by 12 is 0 0.0052. Step two, figure out the number of periods. 22 times 12 is 264. Step three, plug everything into your formula like shown here. So I've got the principal 98,000 times the monthly rate 0052 times one plus 0 0.0052 to the 264th power, right? Divided by one plus 0 0.0052 to the 264th power, and then you're going to subtract one. The first step in using your calculator is this step right here. And I'm going to make sure you can see it really well, or as best as I can. You need that little carrot. I'm taking 1.0052, and then I'm using the carrot symbol. And you can see it on my screen here and in the video to the 264th power. Once you calculate that, I get 3.0052. 9324. So I'm just going to put that right down here. I'm going to put it right in my note. So that's going to be 98,000 times 0. Point, I've saved that enough. Times 3.9324. I mean, that number keeps going. 2372941. I mean, it's a big, huge number. But the reality is, I'm actually going to use that same number once I've calculated it in the denominator, right? So then I go like this, I'm making the, that's supposed to be a division bar. The same number is right there, and I'm gonna subtract one from it. So now again, 
I'm not erasing anything on my calculator. On the top part of that, in the numerator of the fraction, I'm going to multiply this number times the point zero zero five two times ninety eight thousand times point zero zero five two times ninety eight thousand, and I get two thousand three. Let me just write it down here. Two thousand three point nine three seven two five one. Again, divided by. I realized trying to like write this with a mouse was not working. Um, I can take one minus that number, so that would be two point nine three two three seven two nine four one, right? And then I'm going to do that in my calculator right now. Divided by, so I'm not clearing it every time I do it. Two point nine three two three seven two nine four one. I don't want to round it. Don't divide it by 2.9. Don't divide it by 2.93. Go as many as you can. You'll get the most accurate answer. And there it is. I have a monthly payment of $683.38. Um, so let's put that in there. 683.38. I can round that now. If I want to figure out the total amount over time, I would multiply that number, 683.38 times let's divide it by times let's see i figured out how many periods that i had 264 holy moly times 264 that is a whopping 180,000 and then again 683.38 times 264 is 180412 180412.32 and if I subtract my um, original loan of 98,000, I can calculate how much interest I actually paid. And there you go, $82,412, uh, 82,412 and 32 cents, yikes. Hey, sorry for the long video. It's a big honking problem. And I think it's important that you learn uh, how to do it and how much interest you're paying when you take out big mortgages.